Is your child a picky eater? Or do you think that a child develops a particular taste and a flavor and prefers only that? Many of us might say a yes to it, but the reality is not the same. Hello everyone, myself Narita and I am the Senior Nutritionist at Happily Fit. Today we are here to discuss about picky eating habits in children and how as parents and as adults we can help them grow out of those habits to ensure that they are including variety of food. Picky eating is basically a tendency of children to be very picky or choosy about what they are having and making their food choices very limited. This makes a lot of children susceptible to a lot of nutritional deficiencies because of the limited intake they are having. So let's learn about the causes of it. So first, the first cause is low exposure or less of food being introduced to them at the early stage. Many households these days do just include very few ingredients in their on their plate and that's the reason children might not even know what all things are available. This mix makes them picky and choosy in their later life as well. Secondly, few children might have a more sensitive taste bud for which they do not prefer something which has a strong taste like bitter or sour or pungent taste. This will also can be overcome if those particular flavors are given repeatedly to the children, to the child so that he grows out of that habit again. Third and one important reason is also it can be genetic. Again, genetically predisposed children can also grow out of that habit if the parents take care and introduce uh, them to a lot of other flavors earlier in their life itself. So today I'll be listing down five important tips which will help you to help your children uh, to grow out of this habit and include more of nutritious food in their diet. First important thing is to increase the exposure. Try to increase the the number of food or ingredients or flavors that you're including in your child's plate, make sure you're giving him or her a variety so that the child knows a lot of ingredients and thus does not um, does not back out from tasting something new. This will help them to introduce to a lot of other flavors and a lot of other tastes. Secondly, involve them in activities like shopping for the groceries, vegetables, even for cooking. Try to take their help in the cooking to plan menu so that they know what they are eating, they know flavors, they know taste, they know, they know the property of each and every food. Try to involve them. Third, do not cook separately for your child. Even if he or she is not having a particular food, make sure you're not going and cooking it separately, cooking something else separately that might your, your child might like. This will make them even more stubborn and they will not at all ch uh, prefer the other food that you had cooked. Fourth, be a role model to your child. Make sure that you yourself you are including a lot of other flavors, different varieties of food in the diet so that your child sees you and develops that habit. Fifth, be creative in the kitchen. Try to involve your child and also make something new with some new ingredients. Even if it doesn't taste good for the first time, it's okay. Might be give it a try the next time so that your child might also start liking, you also might start liking and you will introduce something nutritious. Be, uh, always include seasonal fruits, always include regional fruit, fruits and vegetables, whichever is available locally so that you are incorporating a lot of new things in the diet and a lot of nutritious food in the diet. So to summarize it up, we would say that we saw three important causes which is low exposure, being genetically predisposed and also having sensitive taste buds and how we can we can try to overcome these habits and grow our child out of these habits is increasing the exposure, being creative in the kitchen, asking for their help, involving involving your child in cooking or shopping for vegetables and fruits and all of the groceries. Fourth, being a role model to your child and definitely and definitely do not cook separately for your child. 
this these are the few things that you need to remember and try out with your child you will definitely see a change in your child eating habit and he will be much more uh, living a much more better life and a nutritious food intake as well thank you